today, from the, uh, this week of ordinary time, seem particularly appropriate, um, although hopefully not too appropriate. I don't know if you heard that prayer from Moses in the book of Exodus, where he, when he was entrusted with the needs of the people, um, was praying for death. Um, hopefully that is not in my future. Uh, <laughs> but um, what's beautiful about that is you heard him say, I didn't give birth to these people. These are not people that I chose to bring into the world, and yet they were entrusted to him. And he recognized as well that their needs were beyond what he could do, beyond what he could manage on his own. Similarly, in our gospel, when presented with this crowd of 5,000, the apostles are overwhelmed. We can't do this. And yet, our Lord says, offer what you have, five loaves and two fish, and that will be more than enough. They always tell the priest to preach to himself first. So these are certainly words that I need to hear to, as I begin my time here among you, make sure that I entrust the responsibility of these parishes to the Lord. And remember that in vain do the builders labor if it does not begin here. The most important thing that I can do is, is to basically allow everyone to draw closer and closer to the Lord each day and trust that he will take care of all of you much better than I can. But I think also these readings hopefully speak to all of you because I think sometimes as you look up here and you see, now granted, we're not usually all together like this, but you think about, well, there are 4,000 people in this parish. 4,000. Six churches. And we have two deacons and three priests. How can you feed so many with so little? The Lord can, and he will. And so I encourage you as well to place your trust in the Lord, that he will not abandon his people, even if at times it looks daunting. He will make sure that we have the spiritual nourishment we need, that you and your families, your children, your loved ones, that he will provide for us that we can trust in him. So as we come to the Eucharist this day, let us do so with hope and with trust, placing our needs with confidence before the Lord, just as those apostles placed the loaves and fish before him, saying, I know, Lord, it looks a little bit much, but with your grace, we know you can feed all your children.